Hey everyone, welcome back. First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for your great feedback on my last video. I uh, Again, I thank you guys for your love and support. Always uh, helps me as a teacher to progress and make these videos happen. So thank you very much. Also, thank you to all my new patrons. I couldn't do it without you guys, so welcome aboard and I hope I will continue making these videos happen and you guys are the ones that get to choose what I should teach next, so thank you guys. Uh, and so this week's tutorial, we the patrons decided to do a mountain and some lake. So I'm excited about that because I love painting nature scenes and we'll see where it goes. I kind of have an idea like I did on my sailboat, but uh, we'll see what comes out of it. If you would like to join the Colored by Felix community and have access to the giveaways and the reference photos, and also the voting on what I should paint next, check out the link right here. It'll direct you straight there, and that's where the patrons have a say, and there's more things on there. I'm on there, so check it out. Before we get started, I got some exciting news. I'm super stoked about these guys. So I got these in the mail, and these are testers to see how they turned out, and what they are is they can be attached on the phone. They're uh, pop-up sockets and uh, they you know to hold your phone and uh, they could be placed on the ipad or any anywhere you'd like but uh and i love how they turned out so it opens nicely like this super easy to use and they come out like this and you just take the tape off and place it where you want to but this is the original design that i do on my vinyl paintings and um and i uh, put them on here and they're available I don't know if you could see, but they are available on my Etsy shop. So the link is down below. Be sure to check it out. There's different kind of designs on there and I'll be putting more of the designs, but this is just one to, for you guys to see um, that's available. So check it out. The Etsy shop is down below. And also if those of you that were asking about the blending brush set and my brush sets, they are coming back in stock soon so and and less than a week so be sure to stick around and stay tuned for those they will be on the link and uh down below available all right let's go over the materials for the paints we're going to use something different today i i was thinking and i wanted to make the water kind of turquoise color so we're going to add a new color today which is turquoise Thalo turquoise and also this Thalo blue green shade. Uh, if you don't have these Thalo blue and turquoise, that's totally fine. You don't need to have exact same colors as I'm gonna use today. You could totally use the ultramarine blue and mix it in with a little bit of yellow and white and that will give you closest to the turquoise, turquoise colors. So uh, you could still play around and have your own shades, but um, I just wanted to try something new, so. And then we also need cadmium yellow carbon black, naphtho red light, titanium white, and last but not least, ultramarine blue. And now for the brushes. We need the blending brush set. These guys, rock and roll. Next is these cheap artist loft brushes. They come in packs, so they come actually like in different kind of uh, sizes and and uh, I just picked and choose which one I like to use from there. They're all flat and kind of rough. And um, they work really well for adding like trees, you know, the texture on the trees and all that stuff. And I'll show you um, some of these brushes we might use and might not. And as we go, I will show you what I'm using, okay? So some of these and then, of course, the round double zero detail brush for our details and then you can use this number eight flat brush. It's the same brand as this one. And then, or uh, half an inch, it's pretty much the same. A little maybe wider, but uh, if, whatever you have available. Now, of course, you need a palette and then a palette knife to mix your paint. You need uh, some sort of water jar. I use this yogurt, what, uh, yogurt, Greek yogurt container here. It has served me very well. And then some of the paper towels. I like to, you know, dry out my brush when I uh, clean, clean my brushes. I swirl it and kind of have it damp, dry it out a little bit. 
so I won't carry too much water on my canvas and have the water be dripping. Um, you don't want your you know, paint and canvas to be too wet. And I think that's about it for the materials. And if I add anything else as we go, I will definitely show you guys. But I think those are the main things we need for today. This is, by the way, a 16 by 20 inch canvas, studio canvas. You can use any size can canvas you have. And uh, I always encourage you and will continue to experiment and create it in your own style. Maybe grab some sort of idea or a technique that I use here and put it into your own style and see what you can create. I've had actually some awesome feedback and people have been sending me some cool recreations in their style that they did um, on my last uh, sailboat tutorial. By the way, if you haven't seen that yet, please check that out. I think it's one of my favorite uh, tutorials I've done. Be sure to check that out. And um, it's so awesome to see these recreations. Um, and uh, please, if you recreate a piece, send it over and let me know. And I will uh, love to see them and share them on my story on my Instagram page. Also, you can see that uh, on the link in below and that'll guide you to my Instagram page. That's where I do these, uh, aside from tutorials, my own projects, and I announce my shows and things like that. So check it out, have fun, and let's get to painting. And action. All right, so this is what I got. I've got titanium white, ultramarine blue, and here the same thing, titanium white and a little bit of ultramarine blue. And you can see that I added more here. So, and then just titanium white. So we're gonna mix these first, the darkest. And we'll start with the furthest point, which is the sky. And then work our way towards whatever it is that is closest. So we're gonna mix these. Should give me a pretty light blue color. And then this one should be even lighter. Right about there. Now we're gonna add a few little fluffy white clouds in the back, but uh, um, Let's go ahead and add these colors on to the sky first. And what we're gonna do is add about this much layer of this blue color and then add some clouds and then we'll continue adding mountains. So we're gonna grab our water jar and I'm gonna dip, uh, grab my uh, fluffy brush and then dab it in the water about less than halfway, about a quarter of the way. And then squeeze the water out gently and your brush is wet. And then we're gonna grab our lightest color, which we're not gonna use titanium white yet. So just white right here, we're gonna leave it on the side, but start with this color. And let's just add it onto our brush and add it right about here, okay? That's where our blue sky will be. And we're just gonna grab all of it and if you add it too much water, it'll start to carry out too much and you don't want, you, you want to make sure that you, your brush is damp but it's, and it runs pretty smooth, but you still want the paint to be thick on your canvas so it could cover the background of, of this uh, white canvas, okay? So, um, so we added one layer and now we're going to add this second color, which should be a little, a shade darker. Now all we did is add uh, more blue R to our uh, titanium white and that's how we got it a little darker. And if my brush, my uh, fluffy brush is um, drying a bit, so I dabbed it a little bit, not even a quarter, just a little bit to grab a little bit of water. And I'm gonna continue covering it. So grab all the paint that you have and if you mixed a little more, that's okay. Um, and just blend it all in together nicely. And then 
I'm just gonna carry it down like this. And then what I'm gonna do is now clean my brush. And I use the sink, it's a lot faster, but to save time, uh, to save time me going up there, I'm just gonna go like this. Dab it lightly, I'm not pressing too hard, and uh, just get most of it out. And once you feel like you got most of it out, then you just clean, squeeze it out gently. You don't wanna damage your brush. And then this is where the paper towel comes in and you just uh, swirl it and, you know, dry it out. So it could be damp and not too wet. Just like that, right there. So we're gonna start with the bottom and lightly, I'm pressing lightly pressing lightly and just almost like kind of dabbing it and pulling it upwards as I twist. And I'm um, just lightly planting and carrying this lighter color upwards. Now in, in the video it might look uh, like there's not much of a transition going on but um, in person, uh, in real life, there's a light, slight transition going on. You can see it better. Um, and if yours is a, uh, like a brighter transition, that's fine too. I'm just gonna make my sky very simple. And I go from one side to another to blend. And I work my way from one side to another. And here you go, almost done. So now that I got my first shade down, I want it to dry out quickly. So what I'm gonna use is the hair blow dryer to dry it out real quick. All right, so now once your background is dry, we're gonna continue. And what I got here is just this titanium white, nothing added to this. And it's a little more than my thumb. And then this is titanium white. I just kind of dragged it out of here and added a touch of this carbon black, just a touch. So I'm gonna mix it and it'll give me a light gray color. And if it's too dark, I will add a little bit more white, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I think that's a good shade right there. And we're gonna start adding our clouds. It's gonna be simple, just white and gray. So now I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna grab my, Artist Love brush. This is, you could use, if you don't have these kind of brushes, um, you can use any flat brush that is kind of rough on the edges. I like to use it for, um, you know, little things like clouds and stuff like that. So now we're gonna add some white and just the white color and we're gonna create, and I dab my brush in the water so it could be damp. So I'm gonna just grab some of this white and let's go ahead and add a cloud right here. I'm gonna lightly pick it up right here and work transparent. Doesn't have to be perfect. Your cloud could look a little different than mine. Have fun, you know, have fun. Make it fluffy, make it not fluffy, whatever you want. I'm gonna cut and leave some of this blue showing and I'm working transparent you could see that it's uh, not pure white because my brush is damp so I'm gonna dab my brush a little bit touch it I touch it on the edge so that I could uh, work continue working transparent and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a cloud here
just like that. There you go. And then I'm going to now continue and add some of this gray color. And then I mix it with, because I don't want a pure like darker gray, so I'm just gonna grab two of these colors and start adding it right here down below. And I'm gonna finish the sky probably about, let's say our horizon line is going to be almost in the middle, about right there, like this. That's where our horizon line gonna be. Now I never really outline anything with a pencil before I start, unless I really have to, but I really don't. I just go ahead and start putting the paint and seeing where, where it takes me. Because in the beginning when I first started painting, I used to outline, and I used to outline and you know go over with pencil everything and make it so detailed and it would be so difficult to work with acrylics and try to you know blend the color and all, and all of that and it makes it harder so um, I you know if it's if you found a way to make it easier to do that go ahead that's awesome but I honestly find it easier to just do it this way and not be afraid to you know just add the paint on the canvas. You can see I'm just making it, blending these in. And I will use my fluffy brush to blend all of it in nicely in the end. And I'm just kind of adding them randomly. I'm not gonna go all, up, all the way up, so I'm just gonna add some here. And then as I go lower, make it a little darker. So about right there. Okay, and then same thing here. Just add everything. And you know, there'll be some mountains here, so not everything's gonna show. Drag it out with just titanium white and your paint brush will carry some of the gray in already. So don't worry about adding more gray. Just drag it out with titanium white. Right about there. So we have that. And then now I'm gonna grab my number eight fluffy brush and squeeze it out. grab my paper towel and swirl it so it won't be too wet and about there so it's a little damp and start from the top and lightly press don't press too hard and just the same thing the way we blend our sky blend these in nicely Okay, and I'm dabbing it and carrying paint upwards. That's what I'm doing. Now that it's dry, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna grab my Artist Loft brush right here. It's uh, almost, it's like half an inch. I'm gonna dab it in the water. And again, I'm gonna use titanium white. Work transparent. And I'm gonna add some clouds, maybe some floating here, you know, like lightly and add them where you want them to be. Maybe it's kind of going down like this. Fade it out. And we're creating layers, that's what we're doing. Here we go. And as we go up, I'm gonna blend it in and add more white uh, because we want the tip to be light, very light. I want it to be smoother. 
and sharper. So I'm going to go ahead and make this actually a little more bright. You ever had a dream jumping on the clouds? I had a dream one time I was uh, jumping on the clouds. Yeah. Hope one day I can, you know, jump on the clouds. Maybe in heaven. I'm gonna add some white and make a big fluff here, actually. I want this one to be pretty bright and bigger. Right there. It looks more awesome, I think, having that right there. Because it felt like it was all, you know, even. So. go. All right, so now my background's dry. Let's move on to our mountains. So I'm just going to grab this extra shade over this gray and mix it with my titanium white and ultramarine blue. <coughs> Let's mix them and see what it gives us. It should give us a grayish with a hint of blue in it. We will first see the shade because we want this to be darker than our gray color here. So I might have to add a little more ultramarine blue and maybe a touch of black here. And then so what I got here is ultramarine blue and a little bit of yellow and mix it with this white here. It should give me this almost like a turquoise color, the color that we, remember I told you that if you don't have the turqu turquoise colors that I um, showed you, then you can totally do this. So a little bit of ultramarine, uh, ultramarine blue and yellow and white, and that gives you pretty close to that turquoise color right there. And then we just have titanium white. So I'm going to add quickly onto this one ultramarine blue and some black. So I had squeezed a little bit too much black, so I'm not gonna use all of that black. So I'm just gonna grab a bit of this ultramarine blue and just a touch of black, not too much. Right there. We don't want it to be extremely dark. We just want shade darker than our background right here. So maybe even a little more. Cause we don't wanna make it too, if we add too much black, it'll take away the color of this ultramarine blue that we mix so we we want that blue there there i think that color will do yeah that should do it so that'll be one of our colors so now we created one two shades now i'm going to use this and actually we're going to create another shade but darker okay all right right here so i added more ultramarine blue and black and just a touch of white and this will be our darkest color. And it's gonna be very dark actually, so I might actually add more white to this because that's a crazy transition from super dark to this. We want a nice smooth transition. We don't want the colors to be too extreme because they're still in the background. You know, as we get closer, the colors will be more extreme, more contrasty, so. Keep that in mind. So I'm gonna add a little more. Uh, I'm just gonna split this so I won't use a lot of paint and keep that as a back background shade just in case I might use it and add more white. Okay, right here, I mixed it right here. You could see I added a little more white and made it lighter. And I just added some yellow here and I'm gonna mix this color with a bit of yellow. It will give me a darker, um, like a dark shade of green. And I'll use that on the side as we get closer. I'll start to, you, you start to see more color. Remember that you could see that when you look somewhere far, it's kind of very neutral colors, right? 
and then as things get closer you see more contrast and more color so that's what we did here we created four different shades the lightest well obviously titanium white and then this color that we mixed this almost like turquoise color and then this grayish blue color and then this darker blue grayish color and then we have this green so let's start adding our mountains okay and this is where we're gonna grab our you can use again you can use an, a half an inch brush or I'm gonna use this one today it's a number eight flat brush it's very similar to that half an inch brush I'm gonna always dab my brush in the water and uh, you can see I have water right there and then I'm gonna draw out my shapes first so let's start with this color right here okay we're gonna start adding our shapes and let's say the light is coming from this side okay let's say it's coming from the right side shining down so we want our left side of the mountain shaded more darker than our right side okay so I'm gonna start off with making a mountain right about let's say one that goes right here and we're gonna just lightly bring it down and maybe carry it like this and then and then this will be our tip and that's one of our tip right there and first I'm gonna just draw it out using the same color um, and then we're gonna go over it but just to create my shape of the mountains first I'm gonna do this okay just follow my lead and and then I'm gonna kind of go down but then I'm gonna go up again and I will go up about this high and then again bring it down maybe actually make it even higher and like this and and there is no right or wrong on where you place your mountains I'm gonna drag it down and just drag it down like this okay I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again the same color use the same color and lightly actually let's not use the same color let's go ahead and use some of this and it's okay if you have you carry some of this in there let's carry a background mountain that's hiding in the back and we're gonna carry it and just drag it out like this okay like that and now we're gonna grab our back to our other color here this darker color and we're gonna continue and draw a mountain and this will go down maybe up here and then we'll draw more land as we get closer and so I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again grab this color and as I go up I'm gonna make a little bump here and then continue on make this a little higher than our mountain right there I would say bring it like this and then maybe loop it and carry it out like this so cover this with this color
just drag it down like this. And you can, now this one I want to make on the edge just for fun. Let's grab our, remember this color that we mixed, and let's grab some of this and mix it together so it won't be too green. And grab water, and we're gonna just mix these here. And we're gonna draw the tallest mountain right about here, and we're just gonna carry it down. This one will be super steep, and then maybe, you know, drop it down and carry it like this. Okay, that will be our darkest mountain. So we're gonna drag it out like this, okay? So now, what we're gonna do is fill in this real quick. And this is, will be our, like, base color, okay? Now you can grab some of this lighter one and just, you know, blend it in. Um, because there's a bump here, we want it we want, we want, you know, we want to show some character to our mountain. We don't want it to be boring. So, as you go down, create some of these um, lines. And um, I'm going to make a lighter green shade to draw out here. But let's let's continue on and finish this side, okay? So, we, we kind of just outlined where we want our mountains to be. Now, let me use the same brush. I'm going to dab my brush in the water. And I'm gonna grab this blue, this shade, grayish blue, lighter one, and mix it with these two. Okay, and then we're gonna go here and draw our mountain. And draw a mountain way in the background right there. Now, what we're gonna do is grab our th this green shade right here, and um, but this one's gonna be a little lighter than that one, so we're gonna mix it with these three colors. You know, we want it to be almost the same, the darkest, but still a little lighter than this one, because this is a lot closer. Okay, so. We're gonna add this one, and we're gonna make this shape interesting. We're gonna go start from here, um, start from right here, and let's carry it down, make a little bump, and then. So we're gonna add this blue, right? We're gonna add this blue, and we're gonna create a little, remember how we drew a little hill here? We're gonna create some shadows. I would say bring it down up to here. This is where the lighter green comes in. So grab titanium white and this color, maybe a little bit of yellow. Right there, make it lighter. And right here, this is where this will come in. And let's bring it about right about here like this. 
that's from the sun, the reflection from the sun, okay? And we're gonna grab our dark color again, mix it with these two, and add it right here, go down, and maybe swirl it and bring it up like this slightly. We want to create awesome like shadows in the mountains and cool little patterns, you know, so yours could be a little different than mine. The shapes, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. I'm just showing you how I do this. So now I'm going to add some white here. I'm going to add white on this tip right here. White and bring it up like that and then this is the snow so some of our mountains is are we're gonna have snow and some won't so just play around add them add the snow where you want it to be All right, so now let's grab our detail brush and dab it in the water. And we're gonna grab our this color, the same one, this darker blue shade. Swirl it on your tip of your detail brush. Grab some more water if you need to. And this is where the details come in. And you can add light little shapes and, you know, little details in your mountains. And create awesome patterns. little rocks in the back, you know? That's what they are. As you can see, I'm just adding a bunch of detail and lightly cleaning it with my finger. Not, I'm not adding everywhere, but just to create some cool highlights and stuff. Some snow showing, you know, in the mountains. I'm gonna add a few more cool little details before I continue. Okay, so that'll be good for now. So now what I'm gonna do is right here, this background mountain right here. I'm gonna add some snow in it as well. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water and just tr work transparent with white and create, um, create um, just about right there. Just fade it out right there. And let it fade out like lightly. And then here, you can add a few light little ones so now we're going to continue and add some detail let's before we continue here let's add the details here so let's do this mountain next so now i'm going to put this detail brush back and grab my number eight flat brush and do the same thing here now i'm not going to put too much detail and spend too much time here because I have a cool and a cool idea to add a little island here and a few trees so so part of this mountain or maybe most of this mountain uh, will be gone so don't spend too much time on this side of the mountain so what we're gonna do is just grab this green and this blue and we're just gonna create quickly some of the you know shapes and shadows and make it very simple not too much and maybe even leave some of this lighter color here
So now I'm going to grab my detail brush and uh, grab my titanium white and we're going to add some snow in our mountain. So I'm going to add some snow right here, right on the edge, because that's where the, um, you know, the light hits the most. So drag it out. And then also, you don't want it to be super straight here. Maybe bring some kind of going down like this. Maybe this one kind of goes down like that. Go. So now let's move on to the next mountain right here and we're gonna add more details on this one And so what we're gonna do is grab our number eight flat brush or a half an inch brush whatever flat brush you have and this is where we're gonna grab our um, Let's start off with just the blue right just the blue. Let's go ahead and just do the blue dab your brush in water and create some lines so we're gonna do what we did here remember draw lines we're gonna do the same thing and draw a few lines here okay and then here i'm gonna draw and bring it up like this and then a line goes like this and just carry it out like this maybe drop it here As you go up, you can create this side a little lighter. So I'm gonna just create it a little lighter, go up about right there, about right there, that's good. And then grab that blue again and then f fill in this white area. And now we can grab our detail brush and add on the details. Actually, let's finish up here. So we're going to grab this green color. Remember this green color? Dab it in the water, our darkest color. And we're going to create another shadow here. Now I'm going to grab my detail brush and mix it with this green. It doesn't have to be a like a particular type of shade. Just uh, we don't want it pure white yet. And we're gonna do the same thing, add the shadows and you know some of the snow maybe here. And I'm gonna quickly draw a line there. Maybe a line goes like this and then drops down here. And this is where you add as much detail and maybe dab it with your finger and draw it, take, you know, take it out. And then I think that is good right there. And then same thing here and just draw a line lightly. It doesn't have to be everywhere, maybe one right here as well. And so I'm constantly dabbing my brush in the water because that, that way it runs smooth. We'll just grab titanium white and let's add some snow in our hill. So maybe there's a snow like going up like this. Maybe there's one right here as well. You can add it anywhere you want. Maybe there's a little snow dropping down like this. Another one right here and then all right so now after I added snow where I want it to be just a little bit not everywhere 
I'm gonna grab this green shade and this Artist Loft brush number two. And uh, it's just a size smaller. And I'm gonna create the some of the shadows on here. And I'm just gonna drag it out like this. So, just some shadows. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, bring it out and carry it down maybe. Right about there. And I think that'll be good. That'll be good for this mountain. Let's move on to our next, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and continue and add details on this guy, okay? So we're gonna grab our number eight brush again, or any flat brush, and we're gonna create, grab this green color, okay? This green shade, and we're just gonna cover everything right here. Just cover everything first, right about there. That'll be like our base color, okay? All the way to this area right here. Okay, right there. And here we're just gonna blend it in with our green and and blue right here, green and blue, and just create some. You know, just play around, create some of the highlights, but leave it pretty dark. Right about there. That'll be good for there. And now what I'm gonna do is grab my dark blue and create some of the lines going down like this. Okay, some of them. And maybe a line kind of going down. Let's draw one more. Maybe another. Like this, slightly. Okay, let's grab our detail brush. I think it's easier to work with our detail brush. And we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is continue adding some of this blue. And I want this to be more blue here because I want it to be cover. I want it to kind of you know, have like a little sh more shadow there. So it won't be too much of this green color right here. And you can bring it down like this. Okay, and then and now clean our brush and we're gonna grab the white color. White color and add some snow. So add snow right here, anywhere you want it to be. Maybe on this tip right here, lightly. Right there, and then some here. Maybe over here in the background right there faded out and these background mountains add actually some green in here right there just like that and continue adding some and go over and add on top of your shadows that you added Maybe make a blob here, blob of snow. And bring it up like this.
here, I'm gonna grab this, dab my brush in the water because it's a little dry, and grab some of this yellow because I want it to be more greener than um, my other green color here since it's closer, remember? And I'm gonna create a little line here and then drop it. drop it like it's hot and then just drag it out like this and then here we're gonna create this green color right here that we have and what we're gonna do is just dab it and create little ripples or whatever you want to call it on your mountains grassy area you know with the green and this darker color. And if you ran out, you can always mix some more. And as you could see, it's starting to come out green. So I'm gonna grab more green color right here and just dab it everywhere. Before we start adding the water, I'm gonna grab a little more black as I ran out and titanium white grab this shade of blue and just uh, mix that and we're gonna create little trees okay little trees and this will be it won't be too dark so we, we still want to keep it pretty light because we're gonna add layers right so as we get closer we will add darker colors so for now let's just have it like this maybe add a little bit of green light right there and let's add a few background trees okay so first what I'm gonna do is grab my detailed brush and grab swirl it on make sure your brush is a little wet and just add a few trees right and just add just draw this is easy just you know draw some lines here just straight down it doesn't have to be perfect straight down like this maybe some here and then maybe some tall ones here just straight down because now you're getting closer and and you want the trees to be you know taller and bigger see what I'm doing here As the mountain gets closer, you obviously want to make them a little bigger, okay? So just a little bit, not, and not everywhere, just add a few here and there. All right, water time. This is fun too. We're gonna just finish off and bring this down a bit, right about here. Just because it's gonna be covered, but let's just say it's gonna be right about there. Okay, and then we'll, and then we just gonna cover this with white. Doesn't have to be perfect. And again, we're gonna, you know, this is gonna be covered, so you won't see this. But just for fun, I'm gonna cover this area real quick. Okay, just cover it real quick, fade it out, and I think here we can add a little more green. Just use what we have left and fade it out right there. That's good right there. And then I'm gonna, since this is gonna be our horizon line, I'm gonna add a nice straight darker line here so just a line I would say right about right here all right so this is what I have I have diff four different shades I'm gonna leave this titanium touch of white here and I've got this turquoise color this is the color that 
uh, if you don't have it, you can just add a little bit of yellow and ultramarine blue, a touch, and it'll be closest to this. So this is what I have, titanium white, and this one is gonna be our first color, and a touch of that turquoise color, and you'll see what color it'll give me. You see this beautiful, like, um, green turquoise color right there. That will be our lightest shade. And we're gonna create four different shades and then it'll be our first layer. So then the second color is a little bit of titanium white, turquoise, and uh, phthalo blue, uh, green shade. Mix that, it should be a little more bluer. All right, right there. A little more bluer. And then this should be even more bluer. So I actually didn't add that much blue. Let me add a little more. And it should be the darker out of the three right here. So let's mix this. So right there. That will be our water shades. And of course, we're gonna add more of the colors and, but let's first lay down our, you know, first coat, okay? I'm gonna use this to make it faster. I'm gonna use Okay, I'm gonna use first I'm gonna use this brush right here. And let's start with the lightest color right here. And just draw a straight line as straight as you can. Right about there. Okay, that will be our right there. And then continue on with the same color and um, here we're gonna create this cool like line, this shade right here, like a little reflection or something. And we're gonna carry on. And here, obviously we're gonna have more of the, um, you know, you'll see, we're gonna add a few more bushes and trees here. So I'm gonna just draw I think I'll go and draw draw it right about here. And so use this light color right here. Same thing here. We're gonna add a few more islands. So let's just say about right here. Okay, and then the rest, I'm gonna grab my inch flat brush. It's the same brand Artist Loft brush, just to make it faster. If you have any flat, bigger brush, go ahead and use it. And I'm gonna create, you know, continue. And here I'm gonna have like a little island. So I'm gonna skip this area. I don't wanna waste um, too much paint here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw an island right in here. So I'm gonna Leave this space open, and I'm gonna bring out this color and grab my second shade here and just blend everything in. This is our first layer, so it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just blend everything nicely, and I hope you're having a good time so far. And here. And so since I have the island here, I'm gonna continue on and just add, continue adding lighter color here and then fading it, fading it into, so I'm gonna 
have it right there. And, and now I'll fade it into this darker color. So I'm gonna grab, and if we have some paint left, don't worry about it, because we are still gonna use it all. But I'm just gonna fill in everything for now. Fill in, because this is our first layer. So fill in with the darkest color, this blue. Fill everything nicely in, cover everything. Don't be afraid. I'm gonna make our water really nice and fun. And I'm dabbing my brush in the water so it can blend easier and grabbing more paint and just making this transition from light to a little darker, okay? Right about there. There you go. And then this part, I like to use my blending brush. So I'm gonna squeeze out my brush and then dry it out with a paper towel. Make it a little damp so I won't carry out the paint too much. And what I like to do is kind of lightly um, just blend so you won't see the brush strokes too much. And this is our first layer so it doesn't have to look the same. Just make sure you have that transition. So now once you have that, I'm gonna dry it with a hair blow dryer and we can go ahead and continue adding more details, okay? All right, now that it's dry, we, we could continue adding some more, a few more islands. And what I got here is just black and a little bit of yellow. And we're gonna mix that first and actually add whatever leftover of this uh, blue we have left. And we don't wanna make it too dark. We don't wanna use black just yet, so this will be, but we want it to be darker than the colors that we have here, okay? And this will be just more yellow and black, and it should be like a dark green color, okay? You can grab a little bit of this blue or just use a little bit of white, works too. go and then one more shade I would like to add just grab this and I'm gonna add a little more blue and create another shade of green because this is gonna be for the trees so grab the remainder of this blue or add a little bit of white and this will be our three shades Right there. Now we can add a few more islands and more detailed trees. This is fun. Use your detail brush, and for this part, just say it goes all the way down right about here. And we want it pretty straight, like this. So now we're gonna continue adding. I'm gonna continue using this brush, dab it in the water, and we're gonna create a few tall trees, remember?
And here with a detail brush, just use water and a little bit of white and yellow mixed. It doesn't have to be perfect. And on some of these trees, we're gonna add highlights. So maybe bring it down like this. Just on some, okay? Like this big one right here. Bring it down. Same thing there. Here. Just on some of them. And with this brush again, just yellow and white. And let's finalize it by adding little grasses here. Little highlights. Some of the areas are a little brighter. Now let's add a little simple detail island right here. So what we're gonna do is just bring it out and drag this out like this and then bring the island down up to about this point okay and we're gonna just draw a straight line dab my brush in the water and just draw a straight line up until this point right here okay Right about there. So now we're gonna draw some trees and we don't need to draw any straight um, lines. We're just gonna go ahead with this flat brush, this Artist Loft flat brush. We're just gonna create a few little trees like this. Some will be taller, some will be not as tall. But about right there. Okay, and then now I'll clean our brush and do the same thing, same idea. Do these shades, one side of the tree. Now let's add some detail in our water and then we'll continue adding a different diamond. So we're gonna grab this darker blue that we have here and if it's dry, mix some more. Mine is kind of already drying out, but that's okay. I'm using some water and then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just drag it out like this lightly. You don't need to. one right here all right oops let's clean it out my finger had some paint in it but what I do is I dab it my paper towel in the, in the water and just clean it out like that if I don't want it there okay and try it again and just drag it straight Okay, and I'm going to clean that up again. I mean, it's going to be covered, but just I don't we didn't like that line last one. All right. So, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just a few light lines right there because we're going to add more detail as we get closer to the water but I just wanted to add some of these highlights here and just fade it out in the middle right here, just with a clean brush in the middle. Fade it out in the middle. Right there, that's good enough for now. So now let's add our second, or I mean, um, our pretty much our final island. This one is my favorite island. And what we're gonna do is add 
we're gonna grab this green color first okay and we're gonna add it right about here remember we left it and we're gonna go and just make a circle here and it's gonna attach to this cool little island that will take you to even a cooler island lots of cool islands okay but that I promise you will make your picture stand out very nicely okay so I'm just gonna cover it with this green shade this green just cover it all that will be our base color okay this one and just blend it all in like this and we'll continue with this color and attach it to this other like there's this other light island that sticks to this one and we're gonna carry it up like this and then drag it out and like that okay and you'll see what what I'm doing but just follow my lead for now so yeah draw an island that attaches like this and then here we're gonna make it thicker here so right here we're gonna go a little thicker and bring it down about here like this and cover it with this green color okay just cover everything right there and I just thought why not add a little island sticking out right there it's a part of this one about right there I cleaned my palette knife so titanium white and then touch of uh, red and yellow and uh, I'm gonna grab this actually because just a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red we don't want too much but we want it to be this light orangey color this right there we're gonna add a little more white on the side just in case we need to blend and stuff and we're gonna continue adding details so right there so what we're gonna do is grab this color and add it right in here Okay, add it right in there and fade it out. And just go around like this. And then do the same thing here, just on, on some of the areas, not everywhere. Maybe some here. And another one right here, like that. And then grab white and add a little bit of white. And then clean our brush and we're gonna add the darkest color now and what we're gonna do is add the darkest on top right here just gonna make our island a little taller here okay just randomly add it doesn't have to be perfect but just on the top
So we're just gonna grab this yellow right here and create a shade just right here, just to make it a little rough, you know, on top right here, maybe right here as well. All right, let's draw some fun tall trees. Let's start with this guy going down all the way here. And I'm just using this dark color right here and water. Okay, we're just gonna draw a few of these. And then one right here. Remember how I said that background mountain won't matter because we're gonna cover it with trees. That's what we're gonna do. And then let's add another skinny one about the same height, maybe a little taller, right about there. And as you go down, I press a little harder because you want the bottom to be a little thicker, okay? So, we're gonna do another one right here, a little smaller. Maybe tilted, and then maybe one right here. Actually, no. Let's that that'll be that'll be it right there. Let's just add one right here, smaller one, like this. Maybe some small one right here, and that will be all. So now we're gonna grab our detail brush. Actually, you know what? Use the same brush because we're gonna, I forgot, we're gonna add a few of them on here as well. So let's add one that goes right about here, like this. And sorry about that. Add it a little too much. And remember the technique about cleaning it. I just use water and Right there and just clean it out and try it again so from here I want to tilt it like this and then we're gonna add another one right here and this one's gonna be pretty tall so I would say about right there okay and then one more right next to it right there a little taller maybe and we are golden right there all right so now I'm gonna grab my detail brush and add a few branches and so from this guy this will be our tallest we're gonna create a few skinny branches coming out. Remember, little mustaches. Okay. Like that. And just create a few little ones here. And then after these trees, we will be adding a few details into our water and we're almost there, guys. Just add them randomly. A lot of this is gonna be covered, so it's okay. Same thing here. I'm just adding little mustaches. This one could be a few, a few of them.
an inch artist love brush dry it out remember we don't want it wet so I want it pretty dry and use the same color and just dab it on here on this brush right here like this and we're gonna just add details now this is the fun part lightly press I start by with my drawing on the tip and as I go down I uh, you know press I just press and follow down I'm not gonna cover cover everything just because I want some of the background to show as well so then this part could be a little darker because as it goes down it's a little you know the they're a little bigger So I just got some yellow and ultramarine blue and I'm going to mix that and I want a pretty green so I don't want too much blue right there. I want a light green is what I'm talking about right about there. So we're going to use this color next and I'm going to drag my brush, use the same brush, dry it out and the same technique, I'm going to dab it on to our trees and create some highlights okay so let's start with this guy so we're gonna lightly press and fade it out that's good enough we don't want too much okay good enough for this and 
continue on. Now remember, the light is hitting this side, so we want our right side a little more than added than our left side, okay? Clean my brush and then just pure yellow. Do the same thing, but this time we're adding only on just a few areas. So we're not adding everywhere, just lightly press on a few areas, okay? So now, remember this orange that we made? I'm gonna grab the leftover just a little bit and just titanium white and this yellow because we want it to be yellowy but we want it to be really light. So I'm gonna add a little more white to my palette and just grab some of this white and mix this up right here and we should get a lighter, you know, pretty light color. Right there. And whatever color you get should be fine just as long as it's light and not pure white, okay? I just like to do that with my um, um, colors. Use the leftover colors I have and play around with it. And I dab my brush in the water, and this is the final detail that we need to add to the trees is just lightly draw the highlights, okay, um, of the tree. Maybe this doesn't go all the way, maybe like this. And then this one. brush in water and just keep doing this 
on my right side of the tree, okay? And I'm skipping some of the areas, maybe the place where I added, you know, I um, added more of this color. I go ahead and add some branches, just stick it out like this, and that's it. You don't need to do that much. Just stick it out, and it makes the tree look realistic. So now I'm gonna use the same detail brush and keep on having this black and then I'm just gonna create a little, um, like a shadow and maybe some of them can be a little darker and just All right, details to our water. So what I got here is this turquoise color. I just added, you know, a thumb, and a little bit of black and titanium white and then yellow. And I'm gonna mix and see what color it gives me. It should give me a darker, you know, darker like a turquoise green color. We wanna, we're gonna use this um, as shadows in our water. Okay, so that's about good enough. And then next we got the ultramarine blue, or not ultramarine blue, sorry, phthalo, uh, yeah, phthalo blue green shade, and then a little bit of yellow and white. I'm gonna mix that. Should give me a lighter blue color for our blue. So it should be like a little darker, you know, than this color that we have here, okay? That's that's the color that we should have. Whatever your whatever your shade is here, you should keep that in mind. 
And then I added more phthalo, uh, or I mean this turquoise color, and then titanium white, and then gr uh, yellow. And I want it to be lighter um, turquoise color, lighter color, but still dark. Okay, right about there. So we're gonna add some green there. All right, first things first, we're gonna grab this blue color that we made and we're gonna clean it out so it won't be too wet and just dab it, okay? Um, and we're gonna create just a few ripples here in the background, okay? You can clean it out with the finger if it's Blend that in real quick. Just, you know, just some very, um, highlights in the water. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, about there. And we're gonna continue on, skip a row, continue on, and add a ripple right there. Okay. the finger and then create some ripples here and then here as we get lower I want to create some like water waves okay so we're gonna create a few that are go gonna go like this so I'm just gonna first draw out uh, some uh, just kind of like an idea to to where I want my like this, I wanna kinda of make it go like this. And I'm gonna just draw outline where the shapes where I want my water to go. Here you can add some ripples here in the back. Okay, create a few of them here. There you go. Okay, now let's create some shades and uh, shadows in our water. So we're gonna remember this color that we made, this turquoise, dark turquoise color. I'm gonna dab it in the water and we're just gonna create shadows in the water of these. So that'll be it for that little tree, and, th and then it just blends in, let's blend it in. Blend it in. And then maybe, remember this blue, this light's kind of like shining through, so we're gonna leave that, and it's gonna go all the way down here, okay, so.
And so now we're gonna use this same dark turquoise and this dark color right here and we're gonna go over and add some ripples in the water more details okay so just black and mix it with some water And so now I'm gonna use this brush to kind of blend everything in really quick. Okay, we're almost there, guys. I'm using this flat brush. You can use your blending brush too, if you want. And I'm just gonna blend it all in. I'm not gonna worry about um, having it carry some of the green and the darker colors. little more greener so I just added you don't have to do this if you like your colors blue you could totally leave it but I want to add it greener I feel like making it more and just blend it in and I'm gonna grab some of this white okay just white and add ripples. So here we're gonna add a little uh, line going down from this tree, going down, and then maybe this one is right here as well, and kind of carry it out like this. Okay, same thing here.
Let's add some rocks. So we'll just use leftover paint right here and just grab some white and that'll give us like a light gray color. We're just gonna add a rock right here. And a rock right there and have it come down like this. I'm gonna grab some more black and we're just gonna use black and white for now. So let's have it go down and swirl up and that will be our first rock. And then we'll grab our white, add it on top this, grab the black, okay, and then one more rock right next to it, right about here. We can use our detailed brush to kind of do the same thing we did with the island. Just grab the black and add some details maybe on the rocks. So what I like to do is just use water and black and just go over the rock first. And I just grabbed titanium white and some water in my flat number eight brush. And I'm gonna go over and draw a few more details of the water. Now I'm gonna grab my number eight, do the same thing with this turquoise, this darker turquoise color that we have here on our palette. And I'm gonna create a little more ripples. All right guys, so you can work on the water and rocks and all the details you can do as much as you want, the way you want it, but uh, this is a quick sketch. And of course, I will come back and work on details and making it look a little more detailed. And that's that takes a lot of time, so I'm not gonna record that part, but this is the basic layout of this painting of mountains and lake. I hope you really learned from this and this was helpful. Please let me know what you thought down below. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends who might enjoy this video tutorial. Thank you guys again and see you guys next time. God bless.